guys what's up welcome back to my channel i'm having one of those days today where i can literally feel every single fiber of makeup on my face and i want to rip my eyelashes off so bad but i have been meaning to film a video for forever literally since like second week of january and there has just been so much going wrong and it's so stupid i literally had two cold sores in one month and that has never happened to me. Anyways, today I am going to do like a video about all of my piercings. Sort of, it's called like a piercing tour on here, but it's, I don't really think that's the proper term for it because I'm not gonna be showing you like close-ups of my piercings. I mean, maybe like pictures, but I'm not gonna stick my nose in the camera because I think that's weird. And I think I'm qualified now to kind of talk a little bit about piercings, um, considering I have I don't even know how many I have, so we're just gonna pretend I didn't say that. <clears throat> Nine, 10, 12. I have 12 piercings in total. I have my first and second lobes pierced and I'm currently on a little stretching journey with the first holes. I'm up to 10 gauge and I started, I wanna say like December. Obviously that is way too fast for a normal person. I do have a connective tissue disease, disorder, whatever. Um, I have rheumatoid arthritis and other comorbidities that go with that. Basically my skin stretches faster than a regular person's would. I have two uh, standard nostril piercings, which are these hoops right here. I got the first one done when I was 15. Got the second one done not that long ago, like a couple years ago. And I have my two higher nostrils that I got done in, it was like right before December of last year. I was going in for a completely different piercing and then I was like, you know what? I don't want to risk that. Um, I was going to get a Libra piercing, Libre, Libra, whatever the fuck. Um, and I wanted to put a hoop in it when it was healed, but then I was like, mm, my gums. So then my next piercing that I have is my Medusa or my Feltrum piercing. I got that when, when did I get that? I want to say 2022 January because I got it right before we were going out to eat for my mom's birthday. Which surprisingly not that hard to eat with well, right after you get it pierced. I don't recommend doing that but like it wasn't that bad. I recently actually January of this year, I got my septum pierced and I got it pierced at a 12 gauge instead of the normal like 16, 18 gauge. Oh, then I have my, my these pierced. Yeah. So I guess now I will get into like the actual pain of each piercing. So we're gonna start with my lobes because that was the first thing I ever got pierced. I don't really remember. Um, I got them pierced at Claire's when I was a literal child and I remember nothing from that experience. Um, don't go to Claire's. Don't take your children to Claire's. Second lobes. I got these done summer of 2021 because I got four piercings a couple days before I met my now husband. So I had to be like, if I make a pain face it's not it's not you it's my piercings i want to say that they were like a four out of ten just because i got my second holes done after i got these done um both of them so i think the adrenaline had kind of it, it, it was done it was gone at that point so um i also feel like it was just very stingy and that's why I would rate it a 4 out of 10. Normally they would not be a 4 out of 10. Normally they would be like nothing. You get the squishy part of your ears pierced, it's not going to be bad at all. Now we're going to talk about my standard nose piercing. So these little rings right here. I got the first one done when I was much younger, like 15, and it sucked. When I was getting, thinking about getting the other side done, I was like, okay, whatever, it'll be fine. No, it still sucked. Um, I think cartilage piercings just fucking hurt and I, I don't know. I don't like cartilage piercings. Any of the ones I have on my nose have just been 
awful, terrible, not good, not, I think I would rate my nose piercings as like a six out of 10, just because they're kind of spicy. The piercing itself hurts and then they're like throbbing. It also depends on the kind of jewelry that you get pierced with. Um, I recommend going to somebody that can pierce you with a flat back. Don't get a screw, those make it worse. Okay, next ones are my high nostrils. So these little babies up here, um, I got them both done at the same time. And I honestly feel like they were less painful than my normal nose piercings. Um, I don't know if it was just the piercer I had, but um, really liked the piercer that I went to to get them done. I went back and I got my septum pierced by him too. Great, 10 out of 10. And I got them pierced with flat backs. I think that's why the healing process was a lot better for me. Um, and they were pierced with long flat backs to like allow for swelling and stuff. And I had to recently go back in January to get them downsized finally because they finally felt too big. But yeah, that's why I would kind of rate those as like a five out of 10, just because I think the piercing process itself was so spicy because it's cartilage and it always makes your eyes water and shit. Next is my Medusa piercing. Um, this is honestly one of the least painful piercings that I've ever gotten. I think it would be like the least painful other than getting your earlobes done. Like it hurts because it's a piercing, but I think I would probably give it like a two or three out of 10 for pain just because you're you are getting stabbed with a needle. The most annoying part is the healing because your lip will swell up and you get like a free trial of lip injections. Um, and it's really itchy and you can't get rid of that itch. I have my Yiddy piercings. Um, those would probably be like a six, seven out of 10. Uh, the first one was not bad. Second one is a little bad. The Healing process for those was a bit not good, not fun. I wore a t-shirt to get them pierced and then by the time I was home, the, the fabric of the t-shirt just simply sitting there and being a shirt was too much. Highly recommend getting some like, like form fitting but also like breathable loose tank top because those are the only reason that I survived. You need something so that you don't have like a t-shirt constantly brushing up against them and just making you want to cry. Um, but like you also don't want to be wearing like something that's so tight that your piercings can't breathe. For healing my piercings, all I use is, I'll put a picture of like the brand that I use, but I use a saline spray and I just clean them twice a day, um, get the crusties off. And if you have to, use a Q-tip, but I wouldn't recommend using Q-tips unless you absolutely have to because the little particles can um, get stuck in your piercing holes and kind of irritate that. But I haven't had a problem cleaning my piercings with Q-tips. I just try not to unless I really need to get up in there. Septum, pain scale, fucking horrible. Um, I think getting this pierced and the first two weeks of healing it were just atrocious. Maybe it's because I got it pierced at a higher gauge. I don't know. But getting it pierced was very spicy. Like, not like cartilage level spicy. A different spicy. You get crusties and the blood. Sorry, TMI, but this is a piercing video. So I mean, what did you? You get crusties and blood. And then if you bump it, if you bump it, that is one of the worst feelings I have ever felt in my entire life, in my entire 21 years of life. That is horrible, horrible. Luckily, that pain is gone now and I have probably had it pierced for a month, but man, when there were crusties building up like every two hours and you would like accidentally bonk your nose or like you would like go to itch something and you would slightly move it. Oh my gosh, that is the worst pain imaginable. Everybody says that septums are like the least painful piercing. And I was like, oh yeah, it'll be no problem. Anybody who wants to get their septum pierced, you need to soak your nose in warm water before you clean it. That is the only way, only way 
that I could get some of those crusties off. And uh, I would do that multiple times a day. Like you would feel your nose kind of starting to like get dry and like itchy and kind of hurt. Go soak your nose. And then spray the saline up there. Most of my jewelry is what I got pierced with. And most of my piercings are from app piercers uh you can i'll put the website down below you can find a piercer near you that's like certified and typically app piercers also only really use high quality jewelry basically uh you want implant grade titanium or just like body safe materials also some people can be allergic to different materials so i would like be wary if you're just venturing into getting piercings and you're not quite sure if you have a metal allergy or not. I'm not a piercer, talk to a piercer. All of the jewelry that is not from, like not directly from when I got it pierced, I got from body art forms. Um, my plugs, my stretching kit is from body art forms. Camera did the overheating thing again, yay. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Really appreciate it. All of my social media will be linked in the description box down below if you wanna come hang out with me. Um, I took a little hiatus from Instagram and really everything else because I have been just dealing with my health and like working on my little health journey. Um, I've actually lost uh, 10 pounds so far. A little bit over that actually. Um, so slay. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.